Hello and welcome back to another round of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign where we have dialed everything to the 11th degree and trying to beat the game on the very hardest difficulty setting. It's a nightmarish setting. Not much has happened at the beginning. We've just created the Swan Song. Hogbite, the leader of our team, has been yeah out of action after being hit. That's fine. The mechs are mostly intact and we had a good starting setup. Our uh, lance is good. So today we're going to start with the stop the signal mission, a destroy the base with two skulls. And let me be really clear, um, doing higher school missions even with um, light mechs is entirely possible. The question is always how well are they built up? And at uh, this point, we still have the very starting max uh, that we're using. So this will effective be, effectively be a pretty difficult mission. So I'm expecting that we may see some damage on uh, some of the max, but Bradford, Dragonova, the Reaper, Lily, Shen and Mox will be the right crew for the job. Let's jump right into it and see if everybody survives and hopefully brings the max back intact. Fantastic. <clears throat> Let's begin the mission and take a look what we're dealing with. So first things first, we are in a polar landscape and that is good. I like the polar ecodome. I mentioned it the last time. I'm a sucker for laser weapons and controlling heat. This one here, however, is a pretty difficult starting position. We don't have much room to maneuver and the base being there also means there are potentially a couple of towers. So I'm almost inclined to break through and try to keep that upper ledge for us. Yes, so let's try to do that. On the move. Copy that. What you typically never want to do in those missions is just rush at the target because what happens is many of the missions end maps with the starting positions are designed in a way where they very much cater to an idea if you are rushing ahead you're typically going to rush into some sort of an ambush. Moving out. Good, we got the high ground here with the Vindicator and might as well use the same high ground here with a Panther. Apparently we can't move over that ledge, it's unfortunate, but at least we got pretty solid cover up here. So Roger that. I'll Stand just by. wait for now and let them come. Roger we already that. got four Tangos. And since Lily is likely going to tank for us, I would like her to jump in and spot what we're dealing with, the Javelin and the Locust. Well, that's not that threatening, to be honest. Let's focus on the, the Javelin first. It. Has a lot of laser weapons. Standing by. So, again, first things first. Vindicator moves up. To Only have the long range, of course, but we have a pretty Fire solid chance target. to hit thanks to the high ground. And you can see that the PPCs can hurt if you use them from range. So we got our two snipers up here. And they are hitting well. The javelin is ready to be taken down. Um, let's take this one here. I'm already there. It's still out of line of sight for them. They would need to come and uh, join up a little bit closer. Thanks to the four evasion blips, the locust really did not achieve a lot. I will put a reserve, uh, put us in reserve, and just let them come. It seems like an entire squad of light max. Not exactly what I was signing up for. I was hoping with our salvage we'll get a little bit more oomph, like a bit more firepower. Not sure what we're seeing here. Not sure yet. 
But yeah, a lot of quick mechs, that's for, for sure. So we're starting with the fire starter. Let's position ourselves here. That's a nice one because we have a lot of blips and we got the ice cooling us further down and we got our MGs which pretty much ignore the, the high blips. Fantastic. The locust starts taking more and more damage. Now time for the panther to move up. Well, thanks for high ground, I would say, because despite of all of their blips, the high ground punishes them severely. Javelin has four blips. Might as well take a straight shot. Ah, I was hoping for another hit. That would have been fantastic. 40% Yeah, I think that's a, that's a really decent position Not a lot of chances to hit but we're going to take uh, a bit of their evasion blips away Still works Mox up here We'll continue to snipe. Roger that. That's what I'm talking about. A it's just a matter of uh, focus. Good, there is a commander. Pretty good starting mech. We have them ourselves. Uh, commando, not commander. I hear ya. And Lily is going to stay in reserve. She still has four blips. That's a flea. Yeah. Not really dangerous. Receiving you. All right. Bradford is moving up. This looks like a fantastic place. One where he would not overheat, and we can fully unload. There we go. Good job, Bradford. Good job, Bradford. On my way. Fantastic. We're still having the high ground, and this might be a nice hit. Unfortunately, not. The main PPC missed. But we're still good to go. I leap, I soar. Moving back. Just a few shots. We're still okay with our with our heat management that's what i, I was looking ya. for mox over here moves up and now that we're down to one evasion blip that's the kind of situation that we're looking for and our snipers are just hitting it out of the park this might look easy because we're really fighting against four light mechs i was hoping for a bit tighter resistance to be honest Jumping up. Time to fly. Highly elusive. Alpha strike. And getting that commander down. Fantastic. Commander. Vindicator moves up. Takes the high ground. And you know what? Let's take that aim shot. Fantastic. Receiving you. Good, we've killed the entire like set of defenders. Now it's up to us to deal with the defense. Confirm. What can I do for you? That was rather anticlimactic. I was promising you guys. I read you, Commander. Moving out. 
a nice full-fledged fight and you have not gotten that. Good, Lily is going to tank. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Okay, now we're talking. Enemy reinforcements detected. Sniper turret or shredding turret. SRM6, oh shit. Yeah, we're going to deal with Here those. Here we go! Standing by. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Good, let's try to hit the shredding turret and hopefully deal enough damage. Nah. Ready for orders. Not good. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, it's going to be painful for the fire starter. Roger. Good, we're bracing. We still have plenty of movement dots so we should be fine but be advised you don't want to deal with those shredding towers normally because uh the small media uh, nice small range time. missiles are pretty devastating if you give them a try waiting on you commander they hurt a lot good jumping down Lily is now completely tanking. Firing everything I've got. Hot damn. Let's Fantastic. Do One less tower. Yeah. I got him. Time to hit the sniper tower. All right, more enemies are coming in from here. So we've got to be careful and Lily potentially will need to move back. Commander. Saiken is going, uh, Bradford, not Saiken. Bradford is going to destroy uh, that structure. So it's two towers down. We still got two further to go. And instead of just using a few rockets, uh, the Vindicator needs to catch up, so Dragonover did exactly that. Okay, we got a problem here. Firestarter will take some damage if we're not careful. No so, sweat. Jumping over, and for once we're just bracing. It's conserving a lot of heat for us. What's up, Commander? Still can't really <clears throat> hit anything meaningful over here. I want to hit the tower, but that's not going to fly. So for now, let's just reserve. We can't see the towers, but potentially the towers can't see us either. Unless they do have sensor lock, we should be okay. Yep, they oh, can't yeah. see us. Fantastic. Okay, Awaiting good. Orders. Good time to remove that medium building. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Almost done. Orders. Mox is moving up. No We're in a good position, high ground uh, here. Enemy structure Will work well for us. I can do this all day, Commander. Good. Heading out. Bradford continues to just stay up here. Locking on target. For now, we're fine. Target destroyed. 
Good, we got full resolve thanks to those skills. Another commando over there, okay. What can I do for you? Got you. The PPC still would have range. Question is, are we willing to take the chance? Could move to here. Nah. <clears throat> nah, not good enough. We're just putting it on reserve. This, however, could be our target. A flea. Again, a lot of small mechs here and a few towers. Power numbers is what they say, but certainly not power numbers of many, many small mechs. That's usually not how it works. Yeah, we're potentially going for the javelin. For I've orders. just decided that. Lily is still tanking, and I'll just need a single shot Tell me what to, shoot. to remove a bit Waiting for of uh, their defense. Right so, aye, aye. Yeah. What can I do you for? I think that would be fine. Oh, it's two blips. Yeah, we're going to take that high ground here. We moved through heat, so his heat for the next rounds will be a bit more, but that's okay. I've got. got a solid shot into the center torso region. Standing by. Yeah, I want to kill this guy, the Javelin. So, Bradford's moving up here. And with high ground plus Copy that. our targeted shot, we could finish it. Standing by. High ground definitely is an advantage here. Vindicator moves over, kind of protects the left flank. And I think we're go simply going to go for the laser tower. Almost got it down. Not quite, but almost. I hear ya. Let's take another shot. And there we go, structure destroyed. We'll even get some more resolve. Fantastic. Let's see what their plan is going to entail. Just going to let them act. He moves up. Pretty minor shot. I think we can take the flea next turn. All right, the heat was an interesting choice because yes, that'll keep us in, uh, put us into a difficult position. I want to make sure that we can that we can make sure uh, that we are not overheating. And the fire starter from just yes, jumping so much is in that spot where he might over or where it might overheat.
Okay, we're moving. We and Bradford is going to be the first one here. Take a nice little shot on the flea. Fantastic. Again, thanks to high ground. That's a kill. Commander. And their incredibly low armor rating. Roger that. Even their blips will not save them. Copy that. Good. Better position and definitely a better position go. uh, for us overall. Good. Potentially, we could potentially move up here and don't need to tell me twice. Take it on. Um, yeah, let's go for another medium laser. It's 50-50. Fantastic. Got rid of half yeah, of its uh, armor. My flamer is empty. Waiting on you, Commander. Waiting for order. Good. The flamer is empty. That was to be expected, but yeah, we always had the flamer kind of as an extra gimmick, never as a main weapon. And our sniper just racked it with the PPC hit. Fantastic, that worked out well. Waiting for orders. You know what? How about we're just jumping in here? And let's start hitting that tower. Slowly but surely we're chipping away. Moving to position. Affirmative. Oh, down to six hit points. That is hilarious. But thanks to our AC2s. Firing on target. I thought I would never say that. But thanks to our long range, we eliminated the last turret. <laughs> One heavy laser and that is all he got. Barely hit, Commander. Exactly, barely hit. Commander. Good. Panther moves in. Takes a nice shot. Knocks down his leg and now it's free for all. I think that's the last Good guy go. that we need to take down. Yes, Commander. Overall an impressive amount of enemies on this map, yet at the same time none of them really strong. I mean, we fought scored a critical hit. Eight mechs, four orders. towers, which I would say is a out. fair description for kind of a two-school mission, specifically with four standard mechs. That's gonna hurt. What can I do for you? But yeah, then again, they didn't really pose a massive threat to us. Lily finishes uh, the last one. And stay down. Let's get this done, folks. And I think for from now on, uh, it's really just getting the buildings down. Let me do that real quick so we can shortcut it. To the LZ I'm coming in hot. Good. Surprisingly enough, we killed everything, and that's the end of the mission. mission Fantastic. That went smoother than I would have expected. I was really hoping we would see some, yeah, higher tier max, but the way that uh, the game kind of decides about that is it'll assign a lance rating, so kind of a difficulty value, and 
in the logic of the game, having two different lances with light mix is as difficult as one lance with medium mix. Although in reality that's really not always the case. We've only really taken some hits on Bradford here. The Reds rest pretty much got by unscathed. The good news is we can salvage an entire mech. The bad news is we really don't want any of these guys. So potentially might sound crazy but I will take some smaller lasers because I want those for our fire starter and large lasers because I want those really for long range combat. Might as well take a second one of them. So yeah, not really what I was hoping for. But that's the nature of the game sometimes you you'll just get kind of a curveball thrown at you so the next step now is i think we wanted to look for a new target a place where we can um, where we can do more missions because we didn't want to do more missions for the planetary government so naturally it's a time of travel let's uh, navigate and find a good spot so i would like to see things that are around like one difficulty rating half difficulty is where we're currently at here we would see the pirates uh, it's not bad 17 days is also fine and all of that looks like a like a good option for us. What else do we have available? Pirates Steiner, that's 27 days. It's a bit too long for my taste. 20 days costs even more, 120,000. 26 days, no, 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 no. I think New Abilene might be just the system that we were looking for. Uh, kind of getting those half school difficulty missions uh, or systems out of the uh, out of our playthrough for now that's that means the uh, the actual missions can scale up to uh, two schools which is fine that's really what we're doing at the moment i could what's the alternative if i go one step higher we'd have a local government that's usually not so great you've already seen it but it is only 11 days so that's not bad either. Got the local government, pirates, 16 days. That's not... Oh, that's an Arctic world. That's not bad. I like Arctic worlds. Another Arctic world here. Yeah, we certainly have optionality. So either 17 days or 16 days... Or 16 days here either works I'll make the decision once we know what we're doing so what you would want to do is you want to think about what can we really influence and we got a panther as a as a new mech that's not bad I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the urban mech believe me it's really not that great so let's send it to storage fantastic we got to repair those two bad boys and we will probably have time to effectively upgrade one of them so one thing that we can do is we can start repairing the blackjack it's not that bad at the moment and we can start refitting the vindicator which i think needs a more substantial overhaul so first things first we can repair that as well we're already at four days so two, the, those two plus another two we were okay on the heat department what has not worked out uh, so well for us it's just that whole ppc thing so instead of going for 
50 damage for 7 tons. Now let's try large lasers and go for 40 damage, 5 tons. That's a starter. I think we also want to remove the long-range missiles. That's just not really good. We can now either go into another large laser, something along the lines of this here. The firepower at the beginning was a hundred. We do have another... Oh, I can see we're sharing a hard point uh, for laser and for support right here. Okay, fair enough. So we would have another support right here. And the idea is I'd like to get as much firepower out of it as possible with a decent heat efficiency. Currently the heat efficiency is still absolutely fine. Getting one more medium laser here. And we're in that sweet spot where it might be valuable to, um, to, uh, to get one more medium laser. So let's check the store for that. Do we have another medium laser here? We only got large lasers. Should have taken the medium lasers. Okay. Fair enough. So we are at like what? 150, but that includes the support laser. Wow, just moving it over two days. Are you kidding me? Good, we're... So a couple of things to consider here. Number one, uh, we could uh, go into a complete quote-unquote uh, laser boat by just going all medium lasers, two medium lasers here, two medium lasers here, one medium laser here, that's five medium lasers and then fill it up with heat sinks. That would not be bad at all. I think, matter of fact, that that would be fine. Our problem at the moment is we're not having enough medium lasers to accommodate that sort of build. As it stands, if we go back and look at the original firepower, it's 115, deduct the small laser from it, which is 20, so we're really at 95. So that's the baseline that we're working with, which is, to say the least, not optimal. So if we go with two medium uh, lasers, remove that, put two large lasers in, we're unfortunately far above uh, the, the tonnage requirement. So that will reduce our ranged capabilities quite a bit. The other option, let's just think that through. We could load more missiles currently, that's two tons. And here we're looking at seven tons. So we could go for a uh, long ranged missile type of activity. Not the biggest fan of uh, that. Typically you either go like full long range missile or let it be, but don't take just one LRM. That's not going to work out well. What we can do is we can take short range missiles in and now we're seeing the firepower spike quite a bit. We're at 180, 14 days. Something along those lines could work. Leaving that here, 11 days, over here it's 12. Not bad, but also not perfect. We still got more room for medium lasers. At a later point, we might want to exchange those. In terms of heat management, we're probably doing better than we should because we have 
almost too many heat uh, heat uh, sinks in here. Typically, what I am trying to do is a heat deficit of around 20. Specifically, if you look at small lasers, that oftentimes does not really materialize because the reality is that they are pretty seldomly shot. So you can take away 6, 12 heat, meaning in reality, we're probably running more of uh, 56 heat and uh, 48 of which are being are being compensated. So that setup here looks better, but 14 days looks terrible. We potentially will need to redo it at a later stage because I want to get more medium lasers in. For now, it is fine. The range of our engagement distance will be greatly reduced compared to what we had beforehand. But that is okay. Good. Just took a tiny bit of armor off of the highest armored pots, but I don't want to start doing that too much specifically not for something that I'll eventually not use. So the setup with the two small lasers here is more compromise because we didn't have a medium laser. The target setup should be two medium lasers here, two medium lasers here, one medium laser here, one small laser here, and, and an SRM-6 here. So that we're in that sweet mid-range engagement distance with the Vindicator. It's a fast mech for, uh, for a medium mech. And that setup would probably punch for almost 200, maybe north of 200. With the heatsink supporting it, it should be a good roll. For now, we do have 14 days of uh, work ahead of us. Work costs are neglectable, so that's fine. The only other thing that I would like to do is checking the store one last time. We do have a LBX-10, and I talked about that weapon beforehand. Might as well be a good idea to take that. It's a, it's not the rare, rarest of all weapons, but it is a pretty decent damage output for uh, and a very good uh, load versus damage ratio. That's 80 damage for 11 tonnage, which is good for um, for auto cannons so i think we're going to buy that one New weapon and an lbx 10 ammunition on top of it gosh that was expensive well three hundred thousand well invested that'll potentially be a redesign of the blackjack a bit later good so we got 18 days and we're now moving back to our options here 16 days to here, 16 days to here, 17 days to here. Hmm. I really like Arctic worlds, but there's a local government here. There's a local government here. There's always a local government in the neutral areas. That means we might end up with not getting great jobs. However, I'm willing to give it a try. We're just moving here and then eventually we can move back. So let's set the course and off we go. Perfect. That's the crate I was talking about earlier. Crate comes from our uh, expansion. And we got ourselves a Vulcan. A Vulcan is an interesting mech. Pretty support oriented in terms of support uh, hard points. Mech is ready to fight, Commander. And has an option to engage on long distance. So let's take a look at the Vulcan because it might be one of uh, those makes that we're going to swap in for the Panther. So the DLC makes do have 
a, a specific suite. Uh, every single one of them has uh, their has their own kind of unique way of uh, of setting up. In this case, it's the CQC suite that allows for plus 90 meter support range. So that means all of the support weapons actually fire quite uh, quite a uh, quite a bit. And before we're going to entertain the idea of even using you, let's get rid of some of the bullshit here. The mech is fast enough, trust me. So we want absolute maximum defense. Those mechs also come with a bit less tonnage available compared to the standard mechs. And I think that is to balance out their kind of free upgrade. Good, got a medium laser here. Oh, I see what the problem is. We got that AC2. Well, that's not going to fly, buddy. We will need a few more support weapons. Ammunition, by the way, should always go into the legs because if it explodes here, it'll damage everything. So yeah, we would have one, two, three, four support weapons. Got another laser that potentially could be a bit more heavy depending on the tonnage. And we should uh, then uh, go back to the jump jets if we're just using machine guns and so on. So I leave it as is for now. Well, let's get rid of this. The firepower is neglectable. That's the problem. Upgrade everything. Small laser. But that also takes two days. Nah, can't do it. Vulcan is an interesting mech. I think not quite ready with what we're having. We're going to stick with our other mechs for now. But I will make it work. I will make it work. Good, we're continuing our travel. And one thing that you should really take care of are the funds. If you're running out of funds, there will be a problem. So that happened to me on one of my first playthroughs. I was underestimating just how long travel takes and how high the up upkeep is. Top not to work, if I may say so. We're continuing with more ship upgrades. Next up, again, we're going for more power. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Just to travel faster. And we've nicely timed our repairs with the arrival at the new system, which hopefully ha will have a lot of new contacts for us. Good, there we go. I wrapped up that. Waypoint reached, Commander. Fantastic. First thing first, let's take a look at the store. Got a few mech parts, typically nothing that we're going to buy. Yeah, nothing screams. Purchase me. All of these items are pretty generic, but it's a wide range that is available to us so we might be able to purchase something unfortunately at a premium so might not want to do that and let's take a look at the available con uh, contracts i hope it's not local government again the last one was dominated so currently it's designing all of the missions and good news is there are quite a few that are not local government Bad news is there are also quite a few that are local government. 
This one here is fantastic. I, I couldn't care less about the reputation with the local government. So an assassination work for the pirates, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want to do. Uh, besides, it has a lot of salvage material, so that's great. Got something to work against the pirates, that's not so great. And some more local, uh, some more work against the local government. Uh, the local government ones are against the pirates and sometimes against factions that we do not care that much. Mostly the magistrate of Canapos. Um, for now, <clears throat> my main concern will be to get the faction with the pirates up, and then we'll see uh, how how and whom we're allying ourselves with. That is still in the future. Let's take a final look before we end uh, today's episode and upgrade our pilots. Bradford has just received the upgrade to three tactics. Lily gets some better piloting. Standing by. And the rest pretty much stays as is. I already mentioned uh, it'll take some time to recruit, uh, uh, to get uh, them up to higher levels. The recruits here are pretty expensive, shall I say, so if possible I would not want to take them. Like these prices here are insane, potentially due to the bad reputation that we do have so i wouldn't want to recruit anyone here but yeah this system can give us a well-needed uh, boost so we're we're doing fine i think we're doing uh, very uh, very much fine i want to get the vulcan to work so that i can showcase that the panther here is empty so we might also want to just store the mag for now and in our storage, you can see we already get a panther here. We got a full urban mech here. You can basically rebuild them and uh, reassemble them. But for now, we have a tight uh, limitation of uh, space. So let's just work with the ones that we do have available and keep as little as possible in the bay. Money looks good. Uh, the rest of uh, the swan song looks good as well. So the only thing left to do for me today is to say thank you for watching and see you all in two days. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and uh, take a message down below. We see each other. Bye bye.